Luke, you've missed a couple of matches, 40 minutes against the Dewsbury. But are you now fit and ready to go in this final? Timed it to perfection. Um, <laughs> look, it's, um, it's been a, a couple of uh, tough weeks, yeah, a little groin strain, but um, it's amazing. We're, we're in a cup final and I think there's about 33 fit men, so uh, it just shows you. No one's fit for white even away, but um, I come to uh, playing at Wembley, we've got 30, uh, 30 players fit. So, no, it's been a, a good couple of weeks prep. Uh, this week's been great. Uh, 40 minutes under my belt um, at Dewsbury and, uh, yeah, feeling good, feeling real good. you played in Wembley finals before, but how special is this one with Trinity? Yeah, um, look, last time I played there, it was strange. It was, uh, it was 2020. Um, no fans, and we had the old fake, uh, fake cheers when you win, and uh, the, yeah, strange, surreal to be honest. Um, it'll be a lot better this time. The fans have travelled great all year, and uh, I'm expecting the same again uh, come tomorrow at Wembley. And, and look, it's a long time since Wakefield been at been at Wembley, and I'm sure they'll travel in the numbers. They're just turning up now behind you to see us off, and uh, it's been been great so far this year, and I'm, I'm sure it'll be fantastic again tomorrow. Have you been asked to pass any of your Wembley experience on to the younger players who have not been there before? Um, no, look, I think uh, we, we've got we've got Josh Griffin. I think he's he's reminded me he's two from two at Wembley, <laughs> um, and, and Bowd as well. So, um, look, we, a, a few of us have played there before, and um, look, I think the big games. It, it's kind of it's the effort that wins you the games. It's not so much the the finesse of stuff and and the nice fancy tries. Um, it's more the, the hard work and, and the graft that gets you to win in these big games. And look, we're under no illusions. I think um, Sheffield, I've, I've got a famous Wembley victory before and they'll be, they'll be speaking about that this week. And um, under no illusions, it'll be a tough game and uh, we've got to come, come on our A game. So what you're saying is having beaten Sheffield a few weeks ago, that is history, it'll mean nothing. Yeah, it means nothing. The lads have spoke about that this week. Form goes out of the window. And we've uh, we've got a focus at the job at hand. Um, it's uh, 100. percent It's a different game when it comes to cups, especially at a cup final at Wembley. And um, yeah, we take the take the form out of the window. And we have to be. It's a new game, and we, we have to be. Every everyone to a man has to be on, on on the best game. You must feel some somewhat sorry for the likes of Isaiah Van Gunner, Matt Coates, uh, Toby both right missing out through injury. Yeah, it's um, it's a tough one, and Pauli had a couple of tough decisions uh, this this weekend. A um, couple of people being left out uh, of the team. Um, that, I suppose that's why Pauli's paid the the, the big wages because it look I, I reckon there were a couple of tough calls in there. Um, but as you say, a couple of injuries. Coza being unlucky. Um, head knock last week. Um, Isaiah's. I thought he was outstanding the start of the season, coming through and uh, a broken wrist. Um, tough on him and yeah, look, it, it's one of them where you have to pick your best 17 and uh, a couple of people miss out and, and I suppose that's that's rugby league. How big a boost is it having Josh Griffin being given the all clear? Yeah, look, Griff's been a standout performer, scored uh, a lot of points this year. Um, he got a head knock a couple of weeks back, didn't he? And, um, He's not been he's not been in since, but he's trained unreal this week. So he's a big lift, and Jerry's um, Jerry's back fit as well. After after kind of having a rest last week, he's um, he's uh, he's not getting any. He's actually everyone thinks I'm all distant team, but it's actually Jerry. I like uh, I like reminding him that. But um, again, Jerry's been unreal, and uh, when you run as hard as him, I think you need a, a week off here and there. Finally, Luke, you've got an array of winners' medals. How good would it be to add this one? Because you haven't got one of these winners' medals, have you? No, I haven't. No, look, um, I missed the big one um, at the gr uh, grand final. Obviously, we got beat by Leeds. Um, got the Challenge Cup one. Um, this would be fantastic. Um, just especially from, from where the club's been. Uh, it was a tough year last year. We ended up getting relegated, and this were always one that we wanted. We spoke about this in pre-season when we went to uh, Wales. Uh, we wanted to get this, this victory. Um, Wanted to get to Wembley with this group and look, Matt and his team since he's come in um, has been fantastic. The club, we're on uh, a trajectory that's going that's going forward uh, and this would be a great one to get. But we've got we've got a tough 80 minutes in front of us and uh, we'll have to be good to get it. So the confidence will say a Trinity win. We'll look forward to that uh, 
victory dance in the song. <laughs> Can we look forward to anything special? And who's uh, going to lead it? Will it be Liam or will it be Mark? Uh, I think Liam Kay's brought a bit more energy to it, hasn't he? I think, uh, I think Liam Kay's been fantastic last few weeks, so I think it'll be definitely Liam Kay. And uh, I always get asked what colour uh, what colour they like, <laughs> but we've got a bit of a surprise. I think there's there's a full 17 with uh, with them this week, I hope. So, um, An array of rainbow <laughs> no. uh, You'll have to keep your eyes peeled, TC. And uh, if I make a 20-yard break this week, can you not say, has he got the pace to get 20 oh, yards? I've got, I've got another for you. I've got <laughs> have another you got another?